And it was South Carolina that created the path to the White House for Joe Biden and me. This year, it's South Carolina that will hold the first official Democratic primary. New Hampshire is defying the party, meaning candidates can't earn any delegates here. And President Biden will not be on the ballot. I think we still do have first in the nation because we are going to write Biden's name in. Now, a grassroots write-in Biden effort is underway to save the president the embarrassment of losing in the Granite State. Why are you so involved and so engaged in trying to support him even if he's not on the ballot? Well, first of all, I don't blame him. It's a committee in Washington, D.C. that voters here don't care about. With very little money and even less time, Democratic organizers are waging a campaign without a candidate, holding house parties, waving signs, and training volunteers. What does success look like for, for the president on Tuesday, right? We can play yeah. the expectations game. Does he need a majority? Does he need 50 percent? What do you think? I think he needs to win, and I think he will win. New Hampshire's secretary of state is predicting low Democratic turnout, but warns counting the votes will still take time. There's always a lot of write-in votes cast every four years in the presidential primary ballot, but it seems to be, it's safe to say, that this, this time is going to be different. Uh, this time is going to be different because there is a major candidate whose name does not appear on the ballot. A major candidate, the president of the United States. <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> but there are many write-in in votes in a typical election. So this is not an unusual exercise for the local election officials. A late wild card, progressives urging critics of President Biden's support for Israel to write in ceasefire. If a voter writes in ceasefire on the ballot, that ballot will be counted as a vote for ceasefire. Um, I think that the moderators are aware that you know, that effort is going on, so I would expect that they'll keep track of those votes. Biden supporters say they think their message is getting out in time for the vote. This is a unique challenge now to organize a write-in campaign. I've seen it change over the last month or so. People at first were, no way, you know, I, he abandoned us, no way. And in the last week or so, people are now saying, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. But Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips, who is on the ballot, hoping to give frustrated Democrats here a chance to send a message to the president. Some of you here are probably part of the right in Biden campaign. God bless you. You can do what you want. I'm not here to change your mind, but I am here to offer a new perspective. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.